Let's try this. Oh, lights. Ah. Oh. Hello. I'm, I'm pretending to be Ben. Hello, dear friends. Hi, Welcome guys. back to the channel. Hi. I want to say hello to all our new subscribers. Yes. Uh, over a hundred of you in about the last week or so have welcome. joined our family. Yes, and welcome. So welcome. Yes, thank We'd you. love to have you on board and I've really enjoyed responding mm -hmm. and speaking with you in the comments. Thank you for all your conversations. <laughs> it's been really fun. Yes. So um, yeah, we really enjoy just broadening our family. Yeah. So, okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Yes. Also, if you have not seen parts one, two, and three <laughs> of USA versus Congo, please be on the lookout. I'm gonna try and insert the playlist somewhere up here. You guys know the drill, you know how it goes. So go watch it in its entirety and we hope you enjoy it. So let's get back to what okay. we're talking about. So, okay, so Congo versus USA, all things education. Yep. So uh, we had some fun talking about this because there are some unique differences <laughs> yes. uh, between Congo and US, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the first things we talked about was preschool. Mm -hmm. So in the US, uh, it's very important to people that they start learning, get their kids learning very, very young. Mm -hmm. Like it's not enough to just send them to school at the first grade. They Not even just for kindergarten. Uh, people are already starting at three years old yeah. and and Guilty. moving from there from there <laughs> on. So preschool is a big deal in the U.S. You want to get your kid into a great preschool. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure they're ahead of the rest of the students and you know at the cutting edge of learning. Mm -hmm. But it's not that way in Congo. No. So preschool, no. Like again, maybe the haves might have had some sort of like system in place, uh -huh. but like as far as like the rest of the us that have folks. not, okay. um, your folk, yeah, we didn't have uh, preschool. No preschool. No. Yeah. Um, so that is like a major difference that I've noticed mm -hmm. between Congo and uh, U.S. Yeah, in the U.S., there's this idea with preschool. And, and with other things to get your kids learning at a very young age, there's this competition. There's this uh, this thought that your kid is going to be behind, right. or you know they yes, have to be the best. Yes. Um, like almost like a panic sometimes. Yeah. Like, and and I mean I guess it's okay to want everyone wants their kid to do the best that they possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, so I shouldn't knock it, but. But we're that way. Like, yeah, we we're, were working. we were that way for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> we got you know these things that even babies can do yes. at a very young age. It did help though. Yeah, yeah, it seemed to help <laughs> with reading and things. Yeah. School fees. School fees. Yeah. Okay, so you and I know there is no such thing as free lunch, right? Nothing is really free in the world. Yeah. Because What's the catch? Um, somebody's <laughs> paying for it somehow, either through your taxes or something, you're paying for it. Yeah. But in the Congo, I don't, I remember specifically, like, um, comment down below if you can uh, relate to what I'm about to say. But if my parents, uh, or whoever my guardian was, was not paying, um, school fees, what would happen is that the entire school would be lined up by grade, uh, like in the school lawn or something, auditorium, and your teacher will come out with this uh, <laughs> paper <laughs> and will start reading the names. Now, uh, if your name was called, that meant um, your parents or guardians did not pay the school fees in front of everybody and you were sent home. Home. So that was really, really embarrassing. But I do remember <laughs> being sent home at least twice. Uh, yeah, on two occasions. Yeah. Oh no. So that's why here's a plug. This is why schooling is so important to a lot of Africans. Mm -hmm. Is because it's not. Not everyone can get it. it you costs can't afford you. it. Yeah it, yeah, it costs you something. Yeah. So when you when they come here and there's an opportunity to go to school in advance, it's like, yeah, sign me up. I'm all right. the way over there. Right. So, Higher education is tougher to come by exactly, in Congo exactly. as well. But anyway, we'll get in more into so that. So what's the difference here with the school fees? So here it's rolled into your taxes. You pay your county, state, federal taxes, mm -hmm. and that's where your schooling comes from. For but it's kind of 
people say it's free, we would consider it free, but you right. and I know like it's not really free. Right. You it's yeah. um it's a little intangible. Right. Wh where That's you're paying that. Yes. And, and so you don't really think about it. You mm -hmm. know, like, oh yeah, well we I mean, everyone pays it, whether you have kids going to school oh, or not. Yeah. So you might as well take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, intangible. You don't yeah. see it as, as much. But it's where, there. Where in Congo, you're like dishing out of your pocket uh -huh. to pay for your kids. Uh huh. To to and everybody knows your parents are not paying <laughs> that school for you. <laughs> that had to be embarrassing. It was embarrassing, oh, but like I was a little kid, so I just kind of. So what's took it like when you get home? Do you take like a paper back to them? No. Or you're, like, you're like mom and dad. You didn't pay my school. So thing. like for me, I remember when it happened to me. I just went outside with the rest of the kids that didn't pay, and we just played. <laughs> Might as well until it's time to go home, until right? Until it was time to go home, then you went home because my aunt was working, so I couldn't just leave the school premise. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, would you say the U.S. is academic focus? In what level? Acade um, I don't know. Uh, middle school, high school. Okay. Is it academically driven? Not as much as it could be. So if I and I don't, I don't claim to know a lot about. Right. I haven't researched other nations, mm -hmm. but just as a general glancing at other nations, I would say like Asian nations are very academic, very focused, academic. focused. Mm -hmm. Indian or mm -hmm. African mm -hmm. or you know even European. Mm -hmm. uh, but the U.S. Um, still, still some good academics mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean. People come from all over the world for That's places right. of higher education, but Here. as far as our uh, junior high, high school, you know, middle and high school, it's very sports driven. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I guess as a homeschooler, I don't know exactly, but well, um, yeah, I mean, I you went find, to public school. You, but you you run the gamut in the U.S. of schools that are very academic and mm -hmm. schools that aren't. So, yeah, that's true. Uh, it's but a but I know that the emphasis on sports is very obvious mm -hmm. when you compare from Congo to USA. Yeah, I mean, I know specifically like um, <laughs> African professors are brutal. <laughs> I feel like they're just as brutal as your parents can be. I mean, they themselves are parents. But like, I remember specifically one <laughs> instance where the professor asked a question to maybe a group of third or fourth graders mm -hmm. and they didn't know the answer. So they came to my class, a first grader, and grabbed me and said, come here. And they stood me in front of these fourth graders and they asked me the same question uh -huh. as they did. And apparently I got it right. And it's <laughs> it's a way they use like shame those students. to shame the students <laughs> like how does this first grader know the answer? And he, you are That's you don't know the answer. But like that's one instance I remember, or even like if you didn't know your multiplication table, like math is a huge deal back home. Uh -huh. Math? Oh my. Yeah. If you suck at math, you got a problem. <laughs> 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 so um, that's one thing I've also noticed. A lot of Africans are very strong in strong mathematics. Strong in math, yeah. Um, it's yeah. because it's like something that's really pushed on yeah. you. And if you didn't know it, you also got punished. <laughs> Cheesy Terra, are you ready? Yes, we must. Your combo PDF, 60 seconds of fame starts now. How many degrees make 360. One? Correct. The sum of the angles at a point. 360. Correct. How many triangles has a polygon of 12 sides? 10. Correct. Evaluate log 0 0.001 to base 10. Minus 3. Correct. Divide 20 by half, add 10 to the result. What is the result? 50. Correct. Simplify 49 raised to power 1 over 2 times 7 raised to power 0. 1 over 7. Correct. What is 10% of 200 naira? 20. Correct. Ojo bought a calculator for 100 naira and sold it for 80 naira. Find its percentage loss. 20%. Correct. Subtract 110 base 2 from 111 base 2. 1. Correct. Well done. Four multiplied by four. Four multiplied by four. 14. 14 Jesus is Lord. 14? You know you can be prosecuted for that. Mom, is it not your maid that's out there? 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. Oh, oh.
o, o olor de la pata. Next, we're going to talk about discipline. Yeah, school punishment and discipline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. in the U.S., uh, the punishments are in form of detention. Mm -hmm. uh, Suspension. What's the other one? Suspension. Suspension. I was going to say retention, <laughs> but that's like that's like a pond, like a retain, like a retaining retention wall. pond or a retaining wall. <laughs> I was homeschooled, so I never had any retention. Oh, retention. retention. Oh, I should have more retention in terms of. Remember. That's right. <laughs> Detention, suspension, school, like after school, uh, what is it? Lunch detention, you can have that here too. Yeah, don't yeah. mention retention Jory when you're Anderson. talking detention. Oh dear, there he goes. <laughs> this constant <laughs> suspension. Go ahead, honey. No, 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 okay. Split the bars. All right, all right, let's go. Uh, yeah, so so those were the punishments. Mm -hmm. You, It, it was uh, some, some form of you know, sit here, or, mm -hmm. or you, you know, if it's real bad, you can't come to school for a while. Or... Busy work. They yeah. give you busy oh, yeah, work and detention. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I, I was homeschooled, so I don't really know what that was all about. I, but, but you did some. I did public school in the mm -hmm. U.S. When you I got had here. maybe one or two detention because I was late. <laughs> but, but for the most part, you were a good. Student. I was a good student. Yeah. yeah. But in Congo, it's a little different. So we just kind of like. In your home, there's no such thing as like time out. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your parents, your parents being like time out. What's this? What is this? <laughs> so there is like no detention at school. Right. There is whooping. <laughs> so yes, we got whipped in school. Harsh for, and, and for misbehaving. Immediate. That's yeah. right. And and guess what? It was in front of people. Yeah, and it worked. Yeah. Yeah. It was in front of people. It was. It wasn't like let me take you to a different room and deal with this. No, you got spanked <laughs> in front of your friends, and then you went home. Your mom already done had the call she gave you a or big something. Hug, said I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for you. Like, oh, you misbehaved in school today. Oh, okay. So then she might handle that, and then when dad comes, he might handle that. So like, you might get three. <laughs> Honey, your poor Heine. <laughs> You know, we used to put bricks behind there. <laughs> so, so it gives a whole new meaning to the term, she's a brick, brick house. house. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and how, I'm sure they noticed. Well, yeah, but like, you know, after your parents, they don't give you like a warning. So like if they're getting ready to spank you, they grab you and just, Shh. so like, yeah, if you were grabbed, they're not going to say, train, check. Oh. check. So like, yeah. It so was, if you got punished at school you went ahead and you're ready you're ready on the way home you're loading up your pants you ready to go some sticks and rocks <laughs> you're ready to go because as soon as they pull you and turn you there's, it's a way it's like, jesus help me yes there's no like let's let's think about this right let's there's no logic mm -mm. like a, a stern talking to <laughs> no maybe a, a lecture and go no. to your room no no mm -mm. It's, it's bang yes and it's it's quick, like I said, it's a quick. Before you can act, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, meals, yeah. Meals, meals. I do like meals. Yes, you do, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here in the U.S., mm -hmm. meals can be included mm -hmm. part of the school experience, the cafeteria, mm -hmm. lunch line, mm -hmm. yeah. Or you could pack. I guess some some parents pack. People. Yeah. Have breakfast and yeah. lunch there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All provided there. Mm -hmm. yep. Or like you said, they can pack. But in Congo, we don't have an established like uh, lunch time or breakfast time. Like um, you ate when you got home. And like hmm. I said, if you if you did have if your uh, your family was well well off, you could be given something in the morning or like some snacks. But by I'm your parents. Yeah, yeah. But I'm speaking from my experience, which is I didn't have that. Right. So, and I know things are changing, like I always like to say, because I don't want someone to be like, well, that's not sure, true. Sure, your experience was a few years ago. Right. Yeah. And so, I, I and I recognize that things might have changed. Right. And if they have, and you are one of those people that have experienced yeah. it, comment Talk down below. Comment. I want to yeah. hear about it. All right. So, transportation. Transportation. Now, here, 
uh, you hop on the bus. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple. Uh, get up early, have your breakfast, get out to the bus stop, and the school bus stops, um, takes you to school. I mean, up until high school, then there's an opportunity for kids to drive. To drive. But, but yeah. Parents uh, can take them to the Right. There's an option for parents to drop off their kids mm -hmm. and pick them up. Mm -hmm. uh, you often see long <laughs> pickup lines yep. uh, or drop off for mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Congo, uh, we had to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Bus what? We had to, we had to walk. Um, <laughs> my experience, I was walking from my house to school. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I would say maybe a mile, mile and a half. Yeah, um, I was homeschooled. I had to walk all the way from my bed to my desk. That's right. Which were in the same Jeez, room. Babe, well, that really was when I was older. When I was, when I was younger, the classroom was in uh, my parents' house basement. Mm -hmm. So all... Four of my brothers, me mm -hmm. and my three brothers, we mm -hmm. would go down to the basement classroom. But that's homeschooling. That's right. <laughs> so that's kind of, again, we walked everywhere. Some people, mm -hmm. if again, well off, your parents might drop you off mm -hmm. or uh, you might have a bicycle. But for the most part, I remember walking and a bunch of uh, people walked. Yeah. And it's like that throughout. Uh, the African nations, a lot of um, a lot of walking, a lot of walking, yeah. like, tambula, and and walking. <laughs> tambula means walk. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I that. Okay. Oh, sports. Goodness. Sports. So in the U.S., sports are a big deal. Mm -hmm. Um. You can have failing grades, but as long as you can play. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, uh, parents push their kids yeah. in sports yeah, here. It's, true. it's a big deal. Um, games. These are games, but it's it's a very big deal. Um, being good at sports can mean scholarships, uh -huh. you know, free schooling. Uh -huh. uh, so sports are, are highly emphasized. I mean, in American culture, from top to bottom, sports are important. Mm -hmm. So um, even now, like going to a high school, you're looking at the sports program. Right. You know, you want your kids in a good sports program. Uh -huh. if, if you think they're great at football, you want to make sure that that high school has a good program. That's right. And yeah, parents start very young conditioning their kids in the sport they want them to be in or, mm -hmm. or they find one they're good at and they keep them in it. So it's a big deal, not just academics, mm -hmm. sports. So. I feel like... I feel like you guys are, the U.S. is more bent towards sports and academics when it comes, be, I get, I understand because it has you become, want. It has become more that way. Yeah, because they yeah. want scholarship for their children when right. they get to college, which is right. understandable. But in Congo, uh, what, sports where, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> Open those books. <laughs> yeah. You want to play games. Why do you want to play games? Is that going to put food on the table? <laughs> no. <laughs> Some might, but like how many people do you right. know? actually well, make it big yeah right yeah right. so like no academics was huge we didn't really have sports. no emphasis on sports um the major sport back home that a lot of children played just as a rec rec recreation right <laughs> <laughs> i struggle with my r's so bad say it again recreation rec 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 recreation recreation Rec reation. <laughs> Rec reation. <laughs> I have to break it down like that because it sounds, when I say my R's, it sounds funny. Yeah. So, anyways. So How did, why did they play it? As a <laughs> they played it for fun? Rec reation. <laughs> Rec reation. <laughs> So yes, we played it for fun. Okay, yeah. we yeah let that. Did you play it soccer. professionally or just for? Rec. Re <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Thank I'll you. let it go. I'll let it go. No, you won't. <laughs> you come back to that. I know you. Okay. Anyways. Anyway. <laughs> yes, we played it for fun. It wasn't like for uh, school or anything like that. But then uh -huh. again, um, things probably have changed. Maybe they do have sports team now. So. There you have it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Dress code. Dress code. What dress code? Would you like to start? Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, in the U.S., if your parents have money, you dress nice. Yes. Gucci. If they don't, you Gucci. don't dress nice. Gucci. You wear what you can Gucci. from Goodwill. Ain't nothing wrong with Goodwill. No. Love shopping at Goodwill. Jory loves Goodwill. I do. <laughs> and I'm like, you. I mean, it's like 
you go to the store and you know you see and know exactly what you're gonna find basically oh, you go to Goodwill I mean it's like a treasure trove you never know you could find something amazing I am at a really so good price embarrassed you're talking about <laughs> oh wait how did I sorry sorry uh, dress code no like <laughs> anyway, in the US that's... there's yeah, there are yeah. very few schools that have uniforms. Uh, I think they've started moving towards uniforms. Maybe schools. there is a trend that way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where I went to school, <laughs> pajamas were just <laughs> fine. Oh yeah, kids try to dress nice and it's a big deal to go back to school shopping for new, nice, cool clothes. That was fun, doing that. Couldn't wait to yeah, go back here in to the school US, shopping you mean, yeah, yeah. with my mom. Yeah, so, so that's a big deal, you know, yeah. get the latest trends, outdo yes. all your friends, mm -hmm. will it ever end. Uh-huh. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, go ahead. What? <laughs> That's US. <laughs> That's US. Boo, no, I'm just teasing. Okay, so in Congo, <laughs> we are in uniforms. Everybody. Yes, but end up usually a white top and a blue skirt, and then, you know, for boys' pants. But yeah, we had uniform throughout. Mm -hmm. um, Did you say a skirt? skirt? Yeah. Oh, Got guys? No, no, no. Uh oh. Boys wore pants. Oh, maybe kilts. Maybe the guys wore kilts. You can't say no Irish kilt out of here. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. It says, I know it's minuscule, but um, chalkboard. Like our teachers use right. like, chalkboard. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Sorry. Stop. I thought of it later. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, chalkboard back home, huh? Mm -hmm. All that dusty chalk. Yes. Yeah, and over here it was, I mean, mostly whiteboards that I remember, but now things have gotten really high tech. Right. And I guess white, I'm sure they still use whiteboards mm -hmm. because it's easy. Mm -hmm. A simple way to get what you need on the board really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, but PowerPoint and computers and, you know, things like that have taken over projection mm -hmm. type stuff. That concludes our part. Four. Yep. Congo versus oh USA. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're in part four. Yes. All things education. Education, life schools. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so. Make sure you share our videos with your friends. Uh, we've been having a lot of fun with these Congo versus USA. Mm -hmm. And obviously you guys have enjoyed them too. So make yeah. sure you share. We want everyone to enjoy them. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your comments. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so you know when the videos are coming out. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. And with that, dear friends, Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.